seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J. Sparky. Hey, what's up, people? This is Ricky J from Ricky J Sports, and welcome to my prediction video for UFC Fight Night 87. And this is part of my UFC Fantasy League. If you haven't yet, please join. All you got to do is predict in the comment section below for the main and co main event of future cards. In the main event, let's start it off right away. In the main event, we have Alistair Overeem, the Reem, against Andre Arlovsky. And this is a battle of two heavyweight veterans. And for you guys that don't know, Alistair Overeem back in the day, he used to be a welterweight. But with all the juicing and working out and eating that horse meat, I like to eat the horse meat, he has really gained weight. And I love Alistair Overeem. And he's doing awesome lately. He's won three fights in a row. And his last fight was a major upset against former UFC heavyweight champion Junior Dos Santos. And he beat him in the second round and then TKO'd him. He also beat Roy Nelson, who is a very durable guy, and Stefan Struve, who's in the co-main event of this event. And he's facing Andre Orlovsky, and he's a former UFC heavyweight champion. That heavyweight champion gets passed around like you're playing hot potato. And his last fight, he lost to Stipe Miocic in the first round, and it was quick. And before that, he won a bunch of fights in, the, in a row, beating guys like Travis Brown, Frank Mir, Antonio Silva, Brandon Schaub, just to name a few. And he was doing very well. But the one thing with Andre Orlovsky, he's known to have a glass chin. Remember in Mike Tyson punch out, Glass Joe? He seems to have a glass chin. He can't seem to be taking some punches where he takes right to the jaw. He just goes straight out for the count. So I think even Overeem, I think Overeem takes a punch a little bit better, but. It's tough because both of them don't have the greatest chins. I think if Arlovsky needs to win this fight, he needs to get on his bicycle and back up and hit him with hit over him with combos, but then back away. He also is really good on the ground, but I don't understand why Arlovsky doesn't take more fights to the ground. I'll never forget when he fought. He fought. Who was it that he fought back in the day? I cannot remember. It was Aaron Brink, I think it was, and he submitted him via armbar. So he's able to submit guys, but he just loves to go for the TKO. So he can go for the takedown. Alistair Overeem is a K1 champion. You can't get any better with respect to heavyweight striking with knees kicks. You got to watch out for the knees. Remember when he took out Brock Lesnar with those knees? So without moving two into this matchup here I just want to say that I believe Alistair Overeem is going to win by KO I think it's going to happen in the first round I don't think Arlovsky at this point at his age at 37 can take a punch especially take the onslaught of strikes that Overeem could take the Overeem could dish out I mean on PEDs or not it's going to go Alistair Overeem by first round KO and hopefully he'll get a title shot if he wins this I would love to see Overeem go for a title shot he deserves it he's a good guy so I'm going to say first round KO for the Reem Alistair Overeem now in the co-main event we have Stefan Skyscraper Struve at 7 feet tall the tallest guy in the UFC against Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Now, just to match up the ages, Silva is 36 years old, whereas Struve is in his prime pretty much at 28. And Antonio Silva has been just kind of going on the decline the past three years or so. He's lost a bunch of fights. He's won one, lost one. And I just think he is on the decline. His last fight, he lost to Mark Hunt first round KO. And then he won against Sao Palili, say that 10 times, but then before that he lost to Frank Mir and Andre Arlovsky all in the first round. And I think with Stefan Struve, Stefan Struve is known for his, his striking and he's very long. He doesn't utilize his reach as much as I would like him to, but his kicks are, are good and for Antonio Silva, he has to punch up to hit that seven foot head. So you know, when you're dealing with gravity, you know gravity always wins. Whereas Stefan Struve punches down, so he has more of the leverage to really lay the blows on Antonio Silva. Stefan Struve lost his last fight to Jarrett Rochal by decision. Um, but he even won his last fight against Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira. 
He lost to Overeem first round KO. So both of these guys can go at any time. This is so funny because it's kind of like Rock'em Sock'em Robots when it comes to most heavyweights. But I think in this fight, I'm going to go with youth on this one. I think Stefan Struve with his height, with his ability to punch down on Antonio Silva's big head, I think he's going to win. It may not happen in the first round. Anything's possible. I think it's going to happen in the second round where he's going to TKO Antonio Silva. I honestly think Silva should go for the takedown. He should really kind of close that distance and use his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and test Struve on the ground. I don't think he can compete with him up top. It's funny because a lot of these UFC guys, man, they think they can compete in the stand-up realm with everybody, but Antonio Silva has got to take a reality check and say, I need to take the fight to the ground. If he does, he has a good chance of winning, but I think Stefan Struve is going to keep it on the feet sprawl and brawl and he's gonna finish him i'm gonna say stefan struve in the second round let me know what you guys think about the main and co-main event we are in season three of the ufc fantasy league our ufc fantasy league if you haven't yet please join you still have a chance to claim the title that josh reyes has right now thank you everybody for stopping by this is ricky j from ricky j sports and you are awesome